dead of night, into the square, striding a knight. Approached by what? Now an extra sentry. Their task easy is to block his entry. Hold up the night. <laughs> Looking back, they may have been uh, a touch hasty. This itinerant knight seems a touch tasty. One guard dead, the other groaning, his uh, reproductive rights bemoaning. For the former guard, naught can be done. His grief is last, his race is young. Right. Yet by the night, they're now ignored. They were no challenge, he's all moved forward. To him, such men are merely prey. They never stand by every day. As demons to hell, their souls are dragging. Inevitable fate of crossing the dragon! Yeah! Oh, you can do better than that, it's the dragon! Oh, good! Black of soul and heart of stone. Forever fated to walk alone. Virtues none, but vices plenty. Owner of a soul quite empty. A heathen's heart beats in his chest, and his evil mind will never rest. In terms, tongues unknown, he's heard to mutter. If rumour's correct, he's a complete and utter nutter. Hooks of nose and crooked back, skewed of eye with teeth or black. Visage loath and corrupted scent, and a tiny... No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> You've now all heard about this dragon. I'll say no more in case he gets a strong one. There is one more thing before all else fails. I'm sorry to say he comes from Wales. <laughs> Good day. Though he'd contend he was like no other, dying at his home, he had a brother. For many years he'd not returned, for half in the home he'd never yearned. Power and ox concerned him not, nor milking cow or any crop. For his reward came not from toil, a lazy <coughs> came from being cruel. But unfortunately, a daughter was left who he felt he should look after. And this is where we join this night on the quest here in Leap. He has come to find a man who can look after his niece, because frankly, she's had some bad relationships recently. <laughs> With a show of valour and strength, he would offer his niece's hand, yet no suitors were located at times in my life's hand. Oh, a hill and dale, so I'll babble no longer on this man, so we can slip off for a nail. <laughs> right. Oh, woe is me, cried the mayor, on his gallant, his gaze did lie. One writhed on the floor in agony, the other left to die. Oh, woe are we, cried townsfolk. Seconding the mayor, seems to us to quell this threat. We must find ourselves a dragon slayer. Yet, instead of combat and a tale of battle, instead of fights, we have political pr prattle. This ruinous threat our elders come to see, and with decisions bold, they set up a committee. The committee immediately adjourns what of this threat each member learns. To remove them from this pool of soup, they focus, uh, they create a focus group. Yet this focus group learned the dragon's past and soon a plan developed fast. A plan they decide to tell the mayor, "'Tis in the tawny we'll find our dragon slayer. We want to be rid of this knight, so as a law we'll use his plight. From his quest we'll offer his release, and as a prize we'll offer his niece." And so the Carrow Council said, all round the land for knights they pled, to come in town this girl's hand to seek, by fighting in the square at Leek. 
The tourney is not just a fight, it is a martial contest night on night. So on patrol, the watchman left alive was to check the credentials of those who did arrive. To ensure noble birth, or at least a squire, our trusty guardian did patents require. But accosting knights and various strangers will never be without its dangers. Does anyone see a pattern emerging? <laughs> Into our square, two squires walk, both bravos and all big talk. Those shy of years, they have skills to test. Through mortal combat, we'll soon see you who's best. Come on, you. and makes his way into the square. Though hungover, he despaired at his sight. They wanted him to fight the shortest night. What <laughs> said it? It's come to this. This famous little squirt now takes the... Michael. <laughs> Defeated squire, victim of the dragon's eye, his vicious opponent was not caught napping and delivered unto him a vicious slapping. Now into town showed yet another knight, this dragon the man was determined to fight. Yet this warrior bold did not get far before our bedraggled watchman his path did bar.